Thank you, Dr. Ngozi, for the great answer. And what does the success of MC12 mean to the world? How will it help the world to deal with the current challenges, such as the food crisis, the energy crisis, and also the pandemic? All the agreements have great meaning for the world. Let me just take the TRIPS waiver, the waiver of intellectual property. It means that developing countries that are not normally able to manufacture can manufacture, have access to patents to manufacture vaccines for a period of time, and hopefully down the road, therapeutics and diagnostics. This is excellent because remember, during the crisis, we found that the manufacture of vaccines is concentrated. 80% of vaccine exports come from 10 countries. So if you, with this new agreement, many more countries will be able to benefit from that and therefore save lives. The package of deals not only focuses on the current crisis, it also targets the future problems. And it also shows the confidence that the members have in WTO. What does this mean to the world and to WTO? Well, thank you. I, I think it means that multilateralism uh, is, is alive. I know there have been a lot of geopolitical tensions, but I know China, President Xi has repeatedly said that China is in favor of a strong multilateralism. And WTO, these agreements showed that multilateralism works and that it's a very good instrument for solving the problems of today and tomorrow. So that's what it means. It's brought, I hope it brings back the confidence that the WTO as a multilateral institution can deliver. And what are the next steps of WTO? How are you going to reform it to meet the needs of the future world? Well, first, uh, Shen, we've got to work on implementing these agreements that we've reached. It's one thing to reach agreements. We have to make sure that implementation uh, is the next step. Second, we have to look at the functions with respect to reforming the WTO. We need to look at the functions, the core functions of the organization. We have the dispute settlement function where the appellate body, the second tier, has not been working because of lack of judges. We need to reform that entire system to make sure that we have uh, a functioning dispute settlement mechanism. And, and then, then the monitoring function, the negotiations function, all those have to be reformed. So next steps for us, implement the agreements we have, negotiate new agreements because there's still quite a few and second work on reforming the organization so it can be modern.